now today's class is all about it's not i'm not going to teach you any kind of technical stuffs today okay this is just an introduction of the class how it will be happening what other things will be happening what we are going to do i'll be covering everything in this particular introduction class today okay so first of all uh, let me introduce myself and uh, my name is bikash and uh, i have around 12 plus years of experience into it industry okay so i started my career with uh, kind of a network engineer okay now first experience one was into network uh, network engineer i i, I was like uh, kind of a l1 engineer then i moved to l2 there i was like uh, doing some small troubleshootings and all right and then i moved to firewalls okay uh, i started with uh, cisco asa and fortinet okay i used to go and deploy uh, the firewalls into the customer places and i was like dealing with the sales team as well so i was able to understand how they pitch those solutions so i was having an idea ki how those things happens okay then i moved to hardcore uh, troubleshooter like uh, i was a l3 engineer uh, i was into support and uh, troubleshooting things then i moved to design okay uh, design space and then uh, we start i started providing solutions to right so in this particular path i have gained lot of knowledge related to firewall and it's not only one firewall i have learned cisco as i have learned fortigate i have learned uh, palo alto checkpoint sonic wall cyber room so if you take any name most of the uh, firewalls that i have worked with okay my primary skills are firewall and vpn okay now i'm basically into hybrid enterprise solutions so basically i provide uh, cloud uh, solutions i provide uh, on prem solutions for firewall okay and it's not about firewall you should also know about network as well so if you have created a base of it you will basically learn security faster and a very correct way so why i'm saying this because if you understand how network works then only you can build a vpn for an example i'm just saying it right so you should know network to understand security better right so basically in network what we do we basically built a path right so if you are going from your home to office right so whatever the path that road that you are seeing it is a routing switching kind of thing that you can understand and uh, security is your traffic police your uh, office uh, security guard or something your access cards or something right so if you don't know how to path the traffic you will not be able to secure the traffic right the traffic should be coming in your organization then only you can protect the traffic right so this is the major thing that whenever you are moving to wireless collaboration or any kind of field you should have a basics of network security okay this is what uh, that what uh, i have understood with my experience okay now let me share my screen and i'll just show you what are the uh, methods that i'm going to uh, do or uh, my classes will be so let me share my screen guys give me a minute let me share can you uh, can you see my screen guys uh, yes it's visible yes okay so whenever i start any kind of topics guys okay i'll be going with the theory part first okay then we'll go with the practical and we'll go with the troubleshooting part as well like this small small troubleshooting 
we will be having a troubleshooting session later like how to debug how to do a packet capture and all right later not with all the topics but there are few common troubleshooting things that you should know while you are doing that particularly which i am going to cover during the covering of any kind of topic like security policy or if i just wanted to let you know about nat app id use uh, user id something like that okay now in this way particularly i'll be telling you to do the practical okay and if you try to complete all the practicals it will be helpful for you to pass the examination to pass the interview or maybe enhance in your career so basically what i'm trying to say whatever the, the practical part that i'm going to show you it's a very common kind of uh, scenarios you will be see in organization okay now let's say for an example if you are sitting in organization so let's say this is pc you are connected to switch then you are connected to some other switch then you are connected to router then you are connected to firewall then you are connected to internet then you are connected to something like that okay now when you start troubleshooting it okay with respect to firewall you will be seeing only these three things which is pc maybe you could consider switch then firewall and then internet okay let's say if you are troubleshooting url filter okay the switch will not stop it the router will not stop it this router will not stop it maybe the firewall can stop it okay so don't think so that i have not created a very huge diagram okay it's not common but if you try to troubleshoot logically from your mind it is basically the pc a firewall and the internet that we are troubleshooting right so troubleshooting a very huge network or a larger network it creates lot of overhead like uh, creating routing and all those things you stuck in configuring all this things or the routing things but you forget the actual thing what is happening in the firewall so putting lot of routers in the uh, topology does it mean that you are learning more no you are basically wasting your time uh, creating routing tables and all right instead of that we can focus on the firewall topology and understand the feature how it works exactly okay so my topology will be like this this is what i have thought and if you want that no sir i i wanted to more i wanted to add more routers or more switches i can also do that there is no problem okay as per your convenient or understanding what you tell me okay okay so this is all about uh, the topic covering okay guys now let me introduce about the racks that we are having how we should be accessing those racks how uh, what are the steps that we need to follow what are the access that you guys will be having everything i'll be explaining you okay guys uh, whatever that i am covering today okay if somebody is joining tomorrow a new guy maybe he is not aware about it so i'll be asking him to see the recordings because again if it is repeating again then it will be repeated for the existing candidates who is like attending today so that is the reason you, you might heard about that okay now you will be getting a email from nw kings like this and you will be having a pod number okay so you have to access this particular url might be your pod number will be different so don't worry about it okay you have to put the username and password i am going to put my username password and here you have to select html console file fine and sign in now once you sign in i'll just close this lab guys okay maybe you will see this particular screen okay so you are seeing so many folders over here you just need to 
click on slot 5 3 am night okay so you have to just click on this once you click just remember the path guys the first folder because Paul Alto, right you just need to click on now you will get all the labs which is related to our technology now here tab lab vur lab layer 3 nat url application nat uter nat ssl decryption all this technology labs will be here okay let's say you need another extra custom lab that you know i don't want to practice this lab please create a new lab for me i'll be creating there are few custom labs and I'm, I'm going to create like uh, my previous best has asked uh, create a custom another custom lab I'll be created for them okay so this is pending that night I need to create for that as well so like that it is let's say you need to just click on the lab if you want to open the lab you just need to click here okay you will see a preview of the lab and you just need to open it okay now once you open Okay, you cannot add any notes. That option will not be available for you because you cannot add any notes or you cannot create your own topology or something like that. The access is not given. The reason behind it, like I have created so many labs, right? So student, what used to do is basically they will remove something, they will add something extra, they will change the configuration of it. So in that case, what what used to happen is like. Um, uh, the trainer will not get the lab what he wants uh, wanted to configure and show the illustration of any topic that is the reason we stopped the full access of the candidates we have limited to for the trainers and admins okay so in case if you need it you just let me know i'll be creating a lab for you okay like this now Whenever you get this particular lab, okay, you have something called as cloud. Because is it recorded? Yeah, it is recorded. Yeah. Now this cloud is nothing but NW Kings Network. Okay. Now NW Kings Network will have internet connectivity. So if this PC wants to go to internet. Right now, in this particular PC, I want to access and filter has to be done from Paul Alto. Correct? Okay. Now, this PC wants to go to internet. And filter has to be taken in the Palo Alto. So the traffic will go and flow through Palo Alto and it goes to internet and then NW Kings and then internet. Now let's say if I create some URL filtering or application control configuration, this PC will be become a test PC and it goes to Palo Alto Firewall and Palo Alto Firewall will process this particular feature it might allow the traffic or it might deny the traffic okay so if we allowing the traffic it goes to nw kings and from nw kings it goes to internet this is how the traffic flow will be happening okay now to manage or to configure that particular technology or that feature okay now through management PC, we are going to access the Palo Alto, right? Through management, we have to take the console, like we have to go to GUI, we have to consider the, uh, we have to configure the IP address, then app ID configuration, how we are going to do? Through this particular PC. How is, like we are going to assign 192, 168, let's say for an example, 10.10. .10. and will assign a same range of IP address 10.1. So we'll be accessing this particular IP address from this management PC to this Palo Alto through HTTPS or maybe through if I want to access through CLI 
maybe telnet or ssh or something like that we can access through this particular management pc for troubleshooting for configuration we'll see that okay any questions guys on this if you are able to understand what i'm trying to say no questions all good guys clear for me yeah yes so this is how basically you have to base, uh, you have to configure the lab or rack pcs okay let's say for an example if you are getting any kind of issue any kind of issue in sense you uh, what i'm trying to say is let me just open or start all the nodes when you start the node you will see the color of the nodes will get changed you see it's in blue color it's orange is turned on and all those things right when it was not it was in gray grayed out now it is colorful if it is colorful you will see that it is started now once you you just need to click one time you once you click it you will get the screen here right you are getting a screen over here now this is a console guys you will see a console i'll be explaining you what is console and all later but you just see that uh, the device is getting started over here okay now for pcs you just need to click once and the window will appear for you but before that you have to start it okay now the default password for this particular user is test123 there is no at the rate or something test123 now this information will be communicated to you through email that what is the test pc password is and if you have not got it or maybe you are about to get it just write a note saying that the password is t capital test at uh, test one two three there is no one uh, at the rate or something okay so this is like this test one two three okay this is the password okay this is the password now you are seeing the palo alto one login now whenever you start the palo alto i'll be covering this again okay so whenever you start the palo alto and when this login appears right when this login appears when you put the admin admin the username password whatever the password that you are having it will not work you have to wait for maybe a uh, one minute to maybe maximum two minutes because the back end process will get started the features the ips the antivirus the url filtering the app id those features will get started so it takes little bit time so during that particular process if you put the username password whatever that you have configured it will not work so you have to wait and then you have to try your user password then only you can log in okay so don't get panic that uh, the username password is not working we have done something wrong or something in the real world as well in the production environment as well it is like this okay so now you can see that it is asking for username and the password okay now let's say for an example if you get any kind of issue in palo alto or in pc or something you have one option the option is like this you can do a wipe out wipe meaning that whatever the configurations are there it'll get erased and it'll get turn off automatically right it is basically turned off right again you have to start this so whatever the configuration was there it is basically reset it to the default configuration what it was before okay so whatever if you have configured any ip address or something it will be erased even it applies to follow alto as well now i have wiped out okay so in case your uh, it is getting restarted again and again or uh, 
you are putting you have configured a correct password but it is not working in some cases or uh, it is not starting properly in that case you can do a wipeout and you can start the device okay this is the first level of troubleshooting that you can do if it is not fixing you need to contact the support team as you will be having all of you guys will be having a support team number okay you guys can basically uh, reach to support team if they are not responding or something you can let me know i will talk to uh, talk to them before uh, you reach out to me you have to put put in your email id okay and you have some student code or student id or something you just to message me on whatsapp i'll be providing you my whatsapp number so that you can reach out to me and let me know so that i can reach to them and i can give you the information what is happening okay the third thing and the last thing is basically uh, regarding the materials okay the pdfs or i can say pdf or slides you it will take little bit of time maybe a work week or something you will be seeing that in your uh, recording like uh, where you see the recorded videos in that port particular portal you will be seeing notes over there okay you will be seeing those slides over there all the slides okay and you will see all the recordings as well fine for books i'll be sharing the books to guys okay and uh, it will be on whatsapp i'll be sending you the common commands to troubleshoot which i'll be giving you in whatsapp okay i'll be giving you interview questions through whatsapp okay i'll be giving you some kind of lab guide now if i talk about lab guide it is not related to this like how we have a setup over here it is not that it will tell you how to configure a technology okay even for panorama i have a lab guide you can just basically see how it, uh, options are there and how can we configure it okay so i'll be providing you the lab guide i will be sharing through this screen uh, this particular portal in the portal or maybe through whatsapp it is not fixed but i'll be letting you know okay so all this materials i'll be sharing with you okay now what you have to do is the step 1 you have to understand the theory first okay then you have to do the practical third troubleshooting part you have to do it by yourself if you feel like i'll be changing this parameters i'll be doing this or that okay troubleshooting part you have to do and you have to let me know that i have did this because i suppose to know that what you have tried okay then i will be helping you for understanding that okay there will be a troubleshooting session guys i'll be telling you at the last not the start okay fourth number you have to go through the recordings fifth you guys can go through the books six commands will be helpful for your real world scenarios interview questions will be for cracking the interview guys okay i'm not going to give you answers i only the questions okay remember that and eight the lab guides lab guide will be useful once you do any kind of labs right so these are the things that you have to go through and once you are okay you can basically give, go for pcnsc examination okay i i can tell you if you go through all this technology answering the questions will be easier okay uh, if you are in search of the dumps i don't provide any dumps maybe you can get in touch with the nw kings team they can provide you that okay 
so i don't provide any dumps or something okay is that clear for you guys like how to access the lab how the sessions will be what are the materials that i'm going to provide are you guys clear with everything any questions with that Uh, no, it has be good. Yes. All good for everyone? Okay. I'll take the silence as yes. Okay. Now. Now, guys, the last thing that I, I just need to mention with you guys, okay? Don't feel any kind of hesitation when you are asking any questions. Okay, we are here to learn things. We are not here to uh, think that I know everything. We are here, even I am here to learn something. If you guys tell me, okay, sir, uh, whatever that you are teaching or whatever that you are telling, it might be wrong because I have experienced this. Maybe I'll learn you something, something new, okay? So if you have a learning attitude, you will be asking questions. Don't feel hesitated that no, I you will not ask what other guys will be see the thing is the classes will not be in a video session it will be on the names only names because if i'm meetings let's say for an example if i'm meeting with you as well you don't know my face i don't know your face right so names will be having any any anybody can have the same name right so if you're thinking like somebody will laugh on me or something let them laugh if they are laughing at you but you have to ask proper questions if you have dumb question you ask because here you are here you are here to learn something okay don't hesitate you can you can make myself as a friend don't feel like i'm a trainer or i'm very much expert i should not be asking dumb question don't do don't feel like that okay so feel free to ask question be interactive on the classes if you are interactive i also understand that you need something or you are in that particular condition let's say if you are not able to understand any kind of topic you can just reach out to me uh, in whatsapp and basically we can try to resolve something okay and every session if you have something like uh, you want to understand something uh, which i have covered already okay and you have question with that maybe uh, our class will be from 8 30 to 10 pm uh, 8 30 pm to 10 pm if you have any questions we can do it after 10 okay maybe uh, for 10 15 or 20 minutes we can go extend the class uh, or I can cover that particular topic with you. Let's say you are setting up a lab and you are getting some issue. After 10 o'clock, I'll take your remote session. I will be, it's not that I'll be uh, setting up the lab fully. No, I'm not going to do that. You have to ask the doubts. Okay, it is only doubts. If you have any doubts, you can ask uh, that I wanted to ask you this doubt after 10 o'clock, I'll be available. Uh, during that particular session, I'll stop the recording. I'll take your question. I'll answer that particular doubt to you. Okay. Okay. Sorry. What was that? Now, guys, if I'm saying 8.30, I'm going to start the class by 8.30. If somebody is joining late, then it will be a problem like asking me to repeat the uh, things again. Okay. I will not probably repeat it because you have to go through recording because the same thing will be repeated for other candidates. So I'm not going to repeat it. Uh, why I'm telling SARP 830? Because if you guys are late, at least five minutes is fine. Not more than that. Okay, because I have to cover the topics as well. Otherwise, the topic will not get completed and you will say, sir, you are extending the dates and all. Okay, so if you guys want me to complete in 45 days, you have to maintain this particular time. Okay, in case if I am late, 
in case if i am late like 5 minutes or 10 minutes i'll be informing you in advance that uh, guys i'll be 10 minutes late or i have done i'm doing something I, it takes a little bit of time or maybe i'm on call i may be uh, late or something i'll be putting the message on what so so don't worry about that okay now uh, and if i'm taking any kind of leave or something i'll be telling you in advance i only i basically plan a week before so if something go if something happening i'll be telling you one week before okay uh in case uh, if it in um, emergency or something i'll be letting you know on that day itself so that is not possible to tell you in advance or something but that will basically those communication can be happen before a week or maybe 2 3 days before or something but emergency will be on the same day or maybe half an hour one hour before okay any questions guys on any kind of thing that we have sir, discussed sir yes. sir in uh, lab scenario um, the pendroma series all features is available or some foundation is there now okay. all features is available regarding the panorama okay i will show you the lab okay in my own lab okay but if you wanted to do a lab to talk to and the blue kings they are going to book a official lab with palo alto and for that i guess the charges will be extra you have to talk to and the blue kings for that no sir actually in uh, in our portal uh, our learning portal uh, when i mm -hmm. when i will practice the lab and that mm -hmm. time uh all features is available or not my question is is all features, all features is available is... in like you can oh, i i can communicate uh, like hd1 hd1 configuration or uh, side to side vpn as well as any other thing also is there is available or you have to see the pcnsc blueprint in pcnsc blueprint sd wan is not there okay side to side vpn is there right and there are few things which this palo alto cannot support because it has a license for an example if i have a license palo alto and i want to run antivirus for an example so creating that kind of environment like antivirus how antivirus exactly works how it Uh, identify the virus i cannot emulate the same thing okay but at the same time let's say pdf file blocking i can show you like uh, if the file is getting blocked with the uh, i can block the pdf file that is possible but finding a virus or spyware it will be difficult but i can show you how to configure it how exactly it works you are able to understand what i'm trying to say Yes, right. sir, yes, yes. Right. So this is how it basically like app control. I can show you how app controller is ba basically blocking the traffic. URL filtering. I can show you how URL filtering is getting blocked. But how can I emulate the same thing for antivirus? Because how where I'm going to find the viruses or something like that, right? Okay. So this is the things. Okay. Fine. Any other questions, guys, related to lab, related to studies? Because I wanted to make it very much clear with you guys that this is what it is going to happen in the class. If you want to add something new, please let me know. You guys are welcome. Uh, sir. Actually, I yes. tried accessing the lab, but uh, uh mm -hmm. I don't. So they have given me the access. I'm unable to access the lab, sir. You are accessing. You have got a mail with the username, password. 
Yes, yes, yes. I have received the mail of the username and password. By entering the same username and password, uh, I'm not able to access the lab. Some error is, uh, I'm getting some errors, sir, actually. Incorrect password? Uh, not exactly. I mean, unreachable, uh, uh, some um, not able to open kind of error I'm getting. Uh, okay. Uh, if that is possible for you, you are in the front of the system right now? Um, yes, sir. Actually, um, I'm in front of my office uh, laptop. Okay. So, I think it's the first class. I joined from phone, sir, actually. Okay, fine. So, you are accessing from your office laptop no, no. or your personal well, laptop? Personal, personal laptop, yeah. Okay. You can let me know or what you can do is you can take the screenshot of that particular error. Sure. You can send it to support team. As WhatsApp group was created, maybe uh, I'll be asking the NW Kings to create a WhatsApp group for us. Okay. okay. And uh, maybe right now you can just try that, uh, sending that screenshot uh, to the support team. Uh, sure. If they are not responding or they, if they are not resolving, you just let me know tomorrow. I will talk to them. Okay. Sure, sure sir. Or maybe if possible, if yeah. possible, if you have a system uh, tomorrow with you, you yeah. uh, you can show me. I'll try to see what is what exactly it is. Okay. Sure, sure, sir. I'll do that. Because, because I I am trying to uh, build this lab in my mm -hmm. own system. You know. Uh, uh, will you be able to show you know what all the images are you using or interfaces and uh, window for the windows machine for the management machine what all the images should be copied to the okay lab so here? i'm going to give you access of my google drive you can download the images from there okay 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 i will request everyone whenever you are accessing that particular link Okay, I'll be creating it. Like, I, I'm not ready with that. I'll be creating it. Okay, so once I create it, once I upload the images, what uh, whenever you try to access properly, you download because last time I shared that particular images with the candidates uh, due to unusual activity. Google has blocked that particular Google Drive and they are not allowing me to access. So this has happened. So please try or please try to access from uh, uh, properly. Don't wear, don't go with proxy or something like that. It basically, if he observes Google Drive, any unusual activity blocks that drive me. Okay. Okay. Oh sure. I'll be I'll be sharing that images to you guys. Okay. And also you will show you know what to be, what to be configured and how to uh, use those images, right? Uh, I'll not show you the images, but uh, there are a few videos which is available. You can just go through and search in the Google. Maybe NW Kens has created a separate video to create lab in your personal PC or Google Cloud. Okay, you just go through that particular video. It will be very helpful for you. Right? Yeah, I, I can have... help you like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you get any any kind of issue, I can help you with that. Not the full lab setup. Yeah, sure. No, so I have already uh, installed uh, no, uh, VMware Workstation UNG. And also I, I have logged in. I, I have copied the Palo Alto image as well. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, but uh, I don't have Windows machine or uh, management uh, server machines you know, to connect to that. So uh, I need to check for that as well, you know. So I, uh, today only I have built it, mm -hmm. but remaining uh, stuffs I am not sure, and also uh, which image I have to upload for this for this management server as well as Windows. This is Windows PC only, and this is also a Windows PC. So to access Palo Alto, we just need a browser. Okay. Let it's Chrome, Firefox, Edge, whatever it is. We just need a browser. We'll go for HTTPS and put the IP address of Palo Alto, like 
10.10 for an example and you can uh, you will get a GUI of Palo Alto and you can access it like that. Okay. So you just need a Windows PC image. That's all. Okay. I'll be sharing that images to you guys. Don't okay. worry about that. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions, guys, for today? All can we get a trial license? Okay, trial license is very much. Uh, uh, I am arranging a demo license for Palo Alto for this particular series, but giving those licenses to all the users is not possible. Okay, uh, trial license. It is possible in Fortigit, okay, and in Checkpoint, okay. And that trial license has a lot of limitations as well. It's not that everything that you can use it. Okay. Without trial license, you can do the same level of thing in Palo Alto as well. Okay. So if you go for trial, trial license of 40 at checkpoint, basically you can do app ID and all, which is existing. Same thing you can do without trial license in Palo Alto images. It's not that it is blocked everything. It is basically allowed everything. Okay. So trial license is not required over here. It was required in Fortigate. If you don't have trial license, you cannot run Fortigate firewall nowadays, like then in the latest one, right? So the, uh, all the vendors have stopped doing that, the trial thing. Okay, they have for VM as well. You need to have a uh, proper licensing, otherwise, it will not work. Okay, any other questions, guys? Okay, now uh, to get a demo license, I can give you some kind of uh, way to get it. Okay. So for an example, if your company is a partner for Palo Alto, okay? Now, there will be a account manager in your company. You can get in touch or maybe you can talk to him and you can say that as in our project, Palo Alto is there. So I just wanted to learn. I have created my own lab. Can you arrange two license or one panorama license to me? He might talk to Paul Alto and he gets the license and he can provide you the license. Maybe it can be valid for three months, six months, one year, two years. It depends on him. Okay. Now to afford that, what kind of license it is, you have to check. If it is a VM 50 it is VM 100 or it is something like that. Okay. I've already explained. I guess you can check this out on uh, this video. Maybe I can provide you the link, guys. Uh, NW Kings live video. So you can just go to this. What do you okay? And go to live. And you can basically go through this. Copying this and I'm sending to the chat. Okay. Okay, to everyone. Okay. Uh, what was that? I got the link of trial demo. Yes, I can. I can help you with that. No problem. Okay. You just go through this video and this video before we gonna start tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So just go through that. Now, to afford that particular images, you have to have a resource. So, let's say VM50 requires 4 GB of RAM, VM100 requires 6 GB of RAM or something, 4 CPU, 2 CPU, it depends on it. If you get VM700, 
you have to have a 8 gb of ram oh sorry i guess 16 gb of ram four cpu cores and all okay and then panorama panorama requires more 16 gb of ram and then you have four cpus then you have to have a 32 gb of hard disk and all right so to afford that particular devices in your own pc requires more resources for running unlicensed version of Palo Alto, at least 24 GB of RAM. Running licensed version, I'm just considering the smaller version. You should have a 48 GB of RAM because you will be running your EVNG lab and you will be running your Windows as well. You will be running your VMware as well, right? So to accumulate everything, you should have little more space to the RAM. That is the reason I'm just increasing the RAM and telling you. At least 40, 40 G, 46 GB of RAM is required in your system. Okay, to run smoothly, properly, without any issues. Okay, I'm telling you extra. If you are having 32 GB of RAM as well, it will work properly. There's no problem. But still, I'm telling you on the extra side. Okay. Any other questions, guys? Okay. So I guess there's no question. So this is what mm, I wanted to cover today because this is just an introduction. Class. I don't want to cover any topics or something to make you starting with uh, topics or something i just wanted to make sure that you should know what we are going and going further with this okay how we are going to learn and uh, how should you what should you do in the class okay so, so if you don't have any questions guys we are good with the session okay thank you so much for joining today have a good night